Hey, Skyler here from the Mint Change You Can Wear. Today I want to show you guys a new tool that came out. Um, it's from Ross Coin Rings. It's this Ross Coin Punch Alignment Card. And for you guys who are new to coin centering cards, this is just a, uh, a card that lines up a perfectly centered hole in whatever coin you decide to do. This one here was made for a quarter and it has a 3 8 inch punch for the, for the punch that you use with it. And he makes these for all kinds of different coins. Um, you can check out his website. It's rosscoinrings.com. The shop section should bring you right to his Etsy shop where he has a bunch of stuff like this for sale. Each card does one type of coin and one type of punch. It's all built in, built into one piece. So there's nothing to lose or drop or anything like that. And the cool thing about these is it's meant for the beginner who wants to do basically one type of coin and one type of punch and you want to get into it really, really cheap. Um, he sells these for about six bucks a piece right now. And these are designed to go into uh, punches, like the Harbor Freight Punch and Die Set, or what I'm going to be using will be a Pepe Tools Disc Cutter. So without any further ado, let's get into this thing and see how it works. First things first, get yourself your coin that you're going to be using. Obviously this is for a quarter, and we'll go ahead and put it in there. And it fits right in, nice and tight. Now if you have a more worn out coin or something like that, what you can do is cut yourself a little bit of tissue paper or toilet paper or something like that, put it over the top of the hole, and press your coin right into it. And that's going to take up any slack if it's there. Once you have it in there like that, you're ready to start punching. So what you need to do is turn it around and get ready to put it in the disc cutter or the punch and die set, whatever that's going to be. Now what we're going to do is look straight down into our disc cutter and line that hole up with the hole that we have in there. And once we get it close, we'll put our punch in. And what do you do from here is slide that card around until you can feel this punch click into that hole that's in it in the card. There, you hear that? And then you just make sure, try pulling the card out, make sure you spin that around, make sure you're in that hole all the way. And once you are, with the case of this disc cutter, you just tighten it down and you're ready to punch it out. All right, did my final check, made sure everything was lined up, and now it's time to punch this thing out. this thing back up, pull it out, and it looks like we have a perfectly punched coin ready to start making a ring. Now the thing we got to do is get it out of this card. And you see there's a little cut out there and that's just designed to get something in there to pop that coin out. I believe Ross Coin Rings recommends using something wooden uh, to get it out of there so you're not damaging the coin, but if you're really careful, it's, that file works really really well. <laughs> um, you could scratch it if you're not careful though, but so the Ross Coin Punch Alignment Card is a pretty decent tool, guys. It works really good and you can't beat the price at all. A lot of you new guys out there who are looking to get a punch card for really, really cheap to try this out, this is a, a really awesome tool to do that. So go check out RossCoinRings.com and get you a card. And as always, guys, thank you for watching.